Julian Schuss leads from Kazim Vasilyauskas. And here's the battle for third. Mirko Bortolotti in the Red Bull car. Andy Susek in the FK Automotive machine right behind. And right behind is right. Look at the margin. Wow. 0.3 of a second. And the move is on. He's got his thumb on the turbo boost button. He's looking around the outside. Oh, and Bortolotti is going to rue not closing the door a little better. Just gets his nose back in front of Susek. But I think the time he's holding on to third place is running out for Bortolotti. Mirko Bortolotti really handled that very well, but he has not got the pace of the Spaniard. There is your race leader, Julian Jus. And that is Natasha Gatchnang, whose car uh, didn't start at the beginning of the race. She's a lap down now in 16th place. Kazim Vasilyauskas already out of coppice as the battle for third comes up to it. Mirko Bortolotti just clear from Andy Susek, but a great run through. Look at the ground that Susek made up there straight away. Turbo boost. I'm sure the button was being used there again. He's trying to go around the outside. Oh, and he's across the grass. And that's dangerous. He's picked up the place. He's got to let Bortolotti have it back again. But now he has to make sure that he stays right with the Italian. Well, you cannot pull off a move around the outside of the Fogarty's S is on four wheels. There's room for two motorbikes, but not for two single-seaters, two touring cars or anything else. You will always end up on the dirt. He got a fantastic drive out of coppice, and I think again using one of his uh, eight bursts of turbo overboost. Checks both mirrors for Hohenthal. Let's have a look again. He's on the outside. It's a done deal. He didn't have a full overlap and uh, was never going to be able to outbreak him from there. He should have tucked in as he got onto the brakes there. He left his braking extra late. Bortolotti was not for passing.